Warning, this video contains graphic imagery and bad microphone quality, which may be unsuitable for children. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, it's me, Marky Joe, here to entertain you. Yes, it is my show. It exists. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Yeah. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna do this right this time. Instead of having heading to the left, I'm gonna get this. Head right to save this person. I know, really crazy idea, but bear with me here. So, okay, so here's the idea. I, I noticed that the enemies here actually seem to have like a point to their placement. Like for example, see this mage here? Obviously you wanna kill him before he has a chance to attack you because mages as we've seen, do a lot of damage in this. He he set it up so that attacking him with this dude puts you in range of this dude. But not this dude. But if you attack him from here, you're in neither of their ranges. So you're actually quite safe. And I think that's like what he intended for me to do, so let's just fucking do that. Now, it could be that I am over analyzing Pert's level design here, but that's just the impression I've gotten so far. It seems that there's a lot of um, weapon triangle going on that I need to be aware of. So, with that in mind, yeah, maybe stand here and you. Yeah, see, these guys are a little trickier to handle because they they they're like weird. They're uh. They have the same movement, uh, like attack ranges. Sorry, I'm having trouble forming words. All right, and with this, the mage that killed Wevoir or whatever the fuck her name is, um, is going to. The 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 Bwevar chick is not going to get attacked by the mage that that killed her last time because he's going to go after the other guys now. My, my other dudes, because they're much closer now. Also, that guy has tepid fire, which... Okay, that explains why she was able to defeat the first enemy quite easily. Uh, uh oh, this is actually kind of a bad spot, though. Uh, wow. Yeah, these guys have much better accuracy. So I think the weapon triangle is definitely having, like, a huge influence here. Yeah, let's let me just take a moment to like analyze this so that's 101 hit against this guy so the weapon triangle that's like minus 45 or something okay so this is really weird I went and did various calculations based on the hit rates of the game and as it appears the weapon triangle increases your hit by 35 however that's not always true because I went and put Dusk against a Recruit while standing in a tree and noticed that the Recruit only got 30 extra hit from the advantage instead of 35. I'm not sure what the fuck is going on here, but all you need to know really is that the Weapon Triangle advantage gives a huge bonus. I, I, I didn't do the, like I did the math like really quickly in my head, I don't know if that's accurate, but from the looks of it, yeah, the Weapon Triangle has an enormous influence here, so if you have Weapon Triangle Disadvantage, you might as well just give up. <clears throat> uh, this is also really bad, this spot, I realize. Alright, but actually, you know what this means? This also means that I can play aggressively in certain areas, but I have to play defensively in others. Like, for example, this is a safe move. Because I'm only realistically going to be attacked by... Well, I'm only realistically going to be hit by the spear dude. And the rest of them are just going to go after him. Uh, and because their weapon triangle is so garbage because they're using axes, they aren't really going to, like, stand a chance against him at all or, or like, land any hits. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Okay, so... I guess it... Ah, uh, fuck. So I got the wrong one the whole time. Yeah. Oh god. Thank you, Dusk. At the very least, shit like that can happen where like things work out. Oh god. 
Oh, wait. Hold on. Magic has weapon triangle, I noticed. Oh, God. So this is, I think, the Fate's weapon triangle, then. And that's really bad, because he has decent accuracy. Yep! Okay! So this is not cut and dry whatsoever. I just got really lucky last time. Okay, so that that means that this is actually the best move. Yeah, because I want to be in the range of both of those axe dudes. And this is just barely outside the range of the lance dude. Yeah, so he, like... I'm actually really impressed. Bird actually put a lot of thought into the level design. I actually thought that... Oh, wait, I'm not in this guy's range. Um... I actually suspected that he would be, he would have like the same strengths and weaknesses of his brother in that, um, he, he would be really good at art and he'd be able to like write really, uh, really silly cutscenes and stuff, but that his level design would actually suffer. But it seems that, uh, he kind of traded the whole story writing thing for, uh, level design skills. Uh, uh, Cause yeah, all right. I'm gonna be real. I'm, I'm not into the story. Like I'm just gonna straight up admit that. Admit that. Okay, so this is the guy that I gotta watch for. It appears. But how do I defend against him exactly? I don't know. All right. Maybe if I just stand here, I'll be safe though. <laughs> Also, I just realized that's that fucking voice clip explains why so many fucking people in my chat are always saying nutty. I thought it was because their nanny was coming in into their room, you know? Okay. For some reason, yeah. Like he isn't coming after me, and that means that this guy or I guess this guy, whoever the fuck was going after Buevar, or her name, whatever, isn't going after her, so this is actually quite interesting to note. Please dodge it, Dusk. Fuck you. And I lost. Damn it! Wow, this is actually hard. Wow, you you just keep critting all the fucking time. You know, it was exciting the first time you did it, Dusk, but at this point it's getting a little predictable. Fuck! God damn it! How did I overlook that? Why did she say take it so many times? God, I just don't fucking get the jokes in this hack, man. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, please dodge. Of course you didn't. Why would you dodge? Yep, here it comes. Here comes the ass whooping. Bam. Okay, journey man. You're, you're definitely going on a journey to hell. All right, come on. Wait, fuck, why did I do that? No, no, what? No! What the f- God damn it! Oh! Oh, thank you! Thank you, Dusk! Uh, that crit was mucho appreciado, because if you had missed that, if you had not gotten the crit right there, then it would have fucked me over. You know, it's interesting how Pert balanced all the characters. Pert has bows, which means he can attack from afar, but he doesn't have point blank, so he has no enemy phase to speak of. Now, Dawn does. She can attack up close. But she also has the worst, uh, like, durability stats of all. So you actually don't want her to do it very much. And then, of course, you've got... Uh, Dusk. Who just kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, but no, but really, um... Who, basically, you use Dusk to fight any and all Axe users. And aside from that, he kind of just sucks dick. And neither of you will die on enemy phase. So let's fucking go. And that's right, that mage that I keep forgetting is not a danger has tepid fire. Which means that he's basically just not gonna even hit me. Yes. And as I calculated, seven damage. Alright, so the tepid fire guy's probably gonna go after me. And oh, that's actually a decent hit rate. Fuck. Dodge it! You 
fucking part. You're a fucking loser. Oh my fucking Jesus, Pert. You, have you dodged a single, like, around 50% chance at all? You just get hit by everything. What the fuck did I do that made me get so far on the fucking first try? Damn, this just does not let up. This is like legit hard. I wonder. Since she can walk over water, I wonder if there's like a safe spot I could put her. Wait a minute. Holy shit, did I just break the chapter? Oh my god. I- <laughs> Oh my god! That fucking worked out! Holy shit! You know what this fucking soundtrack really needs? It needs the like the the Sega the the Sonic CD bad future version of like S Stardust Speedway. Like this music kind of almost sounds like it already, but I just I just want that. Also, something else I want to talk about is I really like Dusk's animation. I just randomly fucking decided this, but. Um, it kind of has that, um, I've, I've talked about this in the past about battle animations that, like, my favorite animations are the ones that, like, have a sense of, like, like, momentum to it, I guess. And I kind of feel like that's the case with, uh, Dusk's animation. Like, when he goes for the slash, it's just, there's like a fucking, like, hold on, I'll just... I'll, I'll just put a safe state here so I can demonstrate it. Like, look at this shit, alright? There's like... Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Stop doing that! God damn it. Okay, so, but when he does his normal attack animation, like, he teleports in front of the enemy, and then there's like that moment where he's like pulling back his claws, and then just fucking BOOM! Just BAM! Drags those claws right down their fucking face. It's very, it's very satisfying in my opinion. All right, so this chapter's done. <laughs> All right, so I got this in the back. I feel like ultimately I way overthought the chapter and that's why I had so much difficulty. Also, the fact that we get this book again suggests that we're going to get original back and that he's not actually dead. So, I mean, why else would you give me a dark tome? All right, let's get this boss done. All right, Puppy Kobe, it's time for your demise. Whoa, all right, so you even you got a uh, fancy animation. That's pretty neat. You're gonna be easy as fuck, though. Actually, can I train you up? Well, none of them are trainable, so I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, well, either way, save state here just in case something happens and give you a nice, lovely, Slash in the face. Bam. See, it's just fucking just it's satisfying to see the claw go down, man. Okay, so he's not actually dead. I figured as such. And he's gonna join our team. I'm gonna call it right now. To be continued, really? Another God damn it, these fucking JoJo memes. I don't know jack shit about the show, so I just don't get it. Uh now. Despite the fact that I broke the chapter, at least seemingly, maybe that was the intended strategy, uh, I actually think that was a really good first chapter. Um, the enemy placement was really tough to deal with, 
And because of the weapon triangle being the way it was, it like I couldn't just go in. It was very player phase oriented, which is actually how I prefer my level design to be. And there was also like leeway in, in terms of like making mistakes and doing other things and experimenting. So it this is in terms of level design, that was pretty much exactly what I'm asking for. Okay, statement retraction time. I don't think there was a lot of room for error. I think I just got lucky and broke the chapter. Wait a minute. I have, am I the king? I'm gonna make that guess here. I'm calling it now, I'm the king. This is oddly out of character for Kobe. I don't think Kobe would be like this at all, but I don't think it really matters. Heel-haired Kerr. Oh, yeah, the... Uh Hatsune Miku. Hey, who could it be, though? She didn't do jack shit. She just stayed in place. Honestly, having her do nothing proved much more effective than having her leave the... I feel like that was not intended. Like, the dude said, oh, you could cross the river, but it's actually much better to just keep her where she is. All right, so another theory I have is that Mari is, like, this is an alternate universe where Mar Mari won Heirs of Rage or something. But then, that doesn't explain why it's a king. Unless they're just lying. Well, I assume that he would have that tome that we use to go back in time. Assuming we are back in the time. I can't tell. Ha! I mean, that's... that's basically true. <laughs> yeah, so basically, I spoke to Avraxis in, in private and I was like, What? How old disaster? Am I allowed to be fawning over her? And he was like, Ah, uh, she's 18, I guess. And I was like, Awesome. Oh wait, no, he said 17, I think. Which is legal in New York. And then after a while, I was just like, You know what? I, I don't think this is cool, so I'm just gonna keep my distance. Yeah, that's true, you know? Freedom fighters are terrorists from a different ex uh, perspective.
lost their car? Oh, they, I guess Pert is assuming that she's like Azra. <laughs> so when she actually sings, it's going to be some like awful fucking meme song, isn't it? Well, Pert, I got something for you. Make me an art. What? Oh, fuck. That's fucked up. So I guess he just got captured or something. Oh, oh, more animation. Well then. Oh, it's Elias with fox ears. Kobe is brave starring in A Trip to Die for. Oh my god, this is starting to get really fucked up. I might have to put a parental advisory on this video. Yeah. His eye just opened. Which means something freaky is gonna happen. Okay! Well then. That was fucked up. Cake.